Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. So today we're gonna try some Korean military soup, or it's called military soup, but in a package. I found this, let me start the fire. So I found this at Korean market, although this is made in USA, it says product of USA. So it's pre-mixed that already have all the ingredients. I hope same thing that's shown in the picture in here. Yeah. It says spicy mixed meat and vegetable stew, but Bude means military. So I would like to try it and I got me some extra spam because you can never get enough. I shall open this package. Whoa. It looks pretty nasty. Okay. Got it all over me. Okay, so it doesn't look that pretty, but there's a bunch of sausage, meat. Um, see some bean sprouts and kimchi, I think, yeah. And Vermicelli noodle, I believe they're called, and some rice cake. I think they come already kind of cooked. They said just heat it up and eat it. You could even put it in microwave for eight minutes. Yeah, totally easy to make. All you need is spam, sausage, and you could even add like ramen noodles to make it better. And I probably won't be wearing like a military attire because it's all green, and which means that I'm gonna just be look spotty and stuff. Let's just wait a little more until it's boiling. And that down my add my lovely spam. Maybe I could wait until it boils. Actually it is boiling right now. Okay, fine. I will add my spam. Oh shoot. I'm just scared that they're gonna splash. And let it cook. Let it cook. Now we'll wait till it boils a little more. I hope everyone had a great week. Um, I'm still sick, which sucks. And like when I'm sick, my whole body shows that I'm sick by I'm getting all these like rashes and like it sucks. It's boiling. It looks good.
And here I have my lovely rice. Oh, it's hot. You know when it's when you grab something hot, immediately grab your ear. It's supposed to cool you down. Unless if you have a hot ear, then don't do it. Let's see. Mmm, it's not bad. That's it. So the reason why they call this a military stew is that fact that don't quote me on it, but that this stew was invented in military during Korean War. You know, Korean love like the stew, but they didn't have much food. But US military at that time had a lot of canned meat like spam and like sausage and stuff. So they decided to incorporate that into a soup. Which was like genius. So a like, lot of younger generation loves this stew. Older generation too, but oh, it's freaking hot. But first time eating a packaged one. To be honest, I wish there was more uh, stew in there. I could technically put pour water and make it more, but it's gonna be less salty, and I might not like it. Oh. So yeah, I've been still sick. It's been a week, week since I've been sick. <sighs> so in Korea, you are um, required to go to military if you're a guy. <sighs> I mean, my other guys in our family did it besides my brother. And me, obviously we live in U.S. But my father, obviously, is still like some part of it. I don't know. Holy crap, it's hot. <coughs> I'll turn the fire off. So this soup is pronounced bude jjigae and a lot of my non-Korean friends call it booty booty jiggy booty soup Okay so that booty that booty juice Honestly, like you can't go wrong with it. This is just soup with every awesomeness in here. Like ramen noodles. Usually at the store, they will, <coughs> at a Korean restaurant, they'll add ramen noodles, spam, sausage, meat. If you look here, there is no like. Like vegetable besides kimchi and and uh, 
bean sprout. Just tiny bit. I bet like every kid would love this soup. I don't think I ever had it when I was a child. I had this when I was in US because I'm only used to eating a lot of um, like denjang jjigae or kimchi jjigae. Sorry, um, you will see a lot of cutting in my video because every time I cut, it's usually because there's unwanted noise or like I'm sick, so I'm like. What is that? Sniffling? Sniffling? Like a lot, so I apologize, but there will be a lot of cut because I am still sick. Now, also, I always learn to eat things when it's hot. So, I don't know, I'm used to it. Even though it's hot, it burns my top of my, my mouth, all that. But that's the best way to eat it. Especially cold weather like this. <laughs> I love stew. Sauce is fat too. Have you guys tried a uh, Korean sausage before? It tastes different from uh, the ones that you could find in US grocery. <clears throat> it's more like sweeter and stuff like that. Because each country they change their food, although it looks same or similar, according to you know their taste buds, because all country have different taste buds. That's why Korean Cheetos have different flavors. They don't have the same flavor as the U.S. It sucks. They don't have a Hot flaming hot Cheetos. I sent some of my friend. So all my life, I grew up thinking that I have all the characteristics of my mom. It's like, oh, you get sick easily? Oh, that's just like your mom. Oh, you get... I think that's about it. Well, anywho, so I grew up thinking that I look like my mom, I have personality like my mom, and all that. However, now um, I visited Korea with Kimmy and stuff and I do get to see my dad and my mom and I now strongly agree that rather than my mom, I actually look and act more like my dad. But all the negative things from my mom I got, which is getting sick easily, 
every season I get sick. So stuff like that. But my even it's so weird because I never like really grew up with my dad because they got into divorce when I was very young. I barely have like hang out memories or anything but I have characteristic that he has that I never really watched him do like such as like with money I'm very sensitive with money <laughs> because I like I like to um, save money and like look into numbers and stuff double check all the receipt and stuff Total opposite of Kimmy and total opposite of my brother. My little brother is more like, I want this, I get it. And I found out from that visit in Korea, my mom told me that, because Kimmy told on me to my mom that I do that. And then my mom was like, how could you be just like your dad? So she told me some of her stories and I was like, ah, that sounds exactly like me. But it's not a bad thing. Whatever. All right. But it's not like I'm cheap or anything. I spent money when I need to. But... I try to do my best to foresee the future if I purchase this now would that affect my future that's all I'm very careful with it oh spending oh my I have such a freaking angry 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 thing Sorry, it's not a positive story, huh? But so yesterday, I took my car in to see if I could get appraisal for, see how much it cost if I were to sell it. And I found out that my car ain't worth sh because it has a frame damage. And I was like, no, there shouldn't be frame damage because when I bought this car, well, I bought my car used. The dealership said it's the clean, there was no accident at all, a zero accident, and they showed me Carfax where it showed no accident. And I was standing outside with him, and I asked him, it's not like they have a frame damage or anything, right? And it's like, no, 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 no accident, zero accident. And yesterday I found out that my car has a freaking frame damage. They said they cut my car in half and re-welded it. So they said they won't even take my car if I, if, even if I wanted to sell it. So now I'm in this situation where... What the... No. Well, Kimmy was really calm about it, just like, don't just relax. You have other stuff to worry about, worry about those first, and then figure that out. But I was so furious. I'm like, should I go attack this guy who sold me this car and lied to me? Lied to my face. Obviously, there are a lot of good car salesmen and genuinely honest. But there are a lot, a lot, lot of good, honest, working people, like all of us. But there are some people that just want to sell stuff to make money.
So currently, I don't know what to do. I'm just um, kind of chill about it. Because I know, because I'm not a super rich, powerful, like sexy beast kind of person that where if I say something's wrong and then the whole world says, okay, we gotta change that. There's no way I could win, so. It seemed very unfair at time, like yesterday night, how I could, like they openly, it's like, they just like literally ripped me off, but there's nothing I could do about it. I asked the guy who inspected my car, I talked to him personally because I was like so shocked. Like, what do you mean the car was cut in half? And then he like showed me every part of the frame that was re-welded, cut and all that. And said legally by law, if nobody reported as a crash, then it doesn't show on car facts and you can't really do anything about it because they could just say they didn't know either. So just, I'm gonna hope for the best. Next time, I'll just double check and maybe you guys could get something out of this by, so make sure you ask like, hey, is there frame damage or anything? But they could just say there isn't. But if you don't know where to look for, just have a written like letter from him or tell him to send us an uh, email right now like hey write it here that, that this car has no frame damage yeah because if that's the case then you could yeah go ham on that guy Yeah. I was a little mad yesterday when I found out because I feel so cheated. But now I'm eating, so I'm happy. Bless you, Kimmy. But Kimmy doesn't get sick. She says she feel kind of sick, but I hope. So guys, please, let's not try to rip off each other. Let's all live happily. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm sweaty right now. Whew. Cause this soup was hot and I'm eating an amazing hot soup. Oh crap, I just took a shower too. So what do you guys think of that finish of a good person? Someone said that that finish of a good person is basically a view of yourself of what you think is good could be reflected on what other people think is good so basically it's different for every person Let's try to be good
That sounds like a kindergarten teacher. Let's treat others like how you want to get treated. That doesn't mean you could go like hump them and kiss them and nothing like that. Remember, caring is caring. Oh. That's some good.